we finally made it through check-in. Line was long, but we have done it. And we're about to go through some uh, uh, checking in our, yeah, we're about to go through security. So plane is delayed, but we are on time ourselves. So no rush, no fuss, no muss. Let's go. We made it through check-in. We made it through security, almost. Well, now you can see who we are. <laughs> Nerdy Ken and I are getting ready. Our plane got a little delayed, but we are on our way to Dublin. And we're gonna be having some fun today. Well, I guess tomorrow? Yeah, I guess tomorrow because it's an overnight flight technically with all the time changes. So we'll see, we're gonna be hanging around the airport a little bit, getting some grub on. There's a giant pachinko that there's a giant Plinko that Nerdy just pointed out. Oh, yep, it's closed. Oh no. <laughs> All right, adventurers, I'll check in in a little bit. After checking out the food options we had, we decided to go with Tortas Frontera. Look how fresh that is. Oh my gosh. It was so good. We got some soup. And we got a couple of tortas, and it was absolutely delicious. As luck would have it, they opened up the Plinko, so Nerdy and I had to have a go. Big miles, big miles, big miles, come on. Sixty. How do you earn sixty? Okay. Well, we had some food, we had some drink, and the plane is here. The crew is boarded, and pretty soon we are off and running. Even though the plane is delayed, we're actually arriving like three minutes earlier from original plan. So I'll take that. Economy for us though. Gotta save money somewhere, right? Right, adventures. Onward and upward. Hello, nerdy. Hello. <laughs> is empty and that never happens they said and the the flight attendants were so sweet that they upgraded nerdy and i essentially to bigger seats we have our own row we each have our own window all because of how amazing they are super nice
Nerdy and I are just sitting here enjoying our breakfast. Got myself a sausage roll. It looks delicious. <laughs> there we go. A croissant. <laughs> And then we have uh, a hazelnut latte, and you're drinking what, Nerdy? Cold brew with oat milk. Mm. Delicious. It is really good. Not that I expected any different, but not too bad. And I'm used to American airport prices. Obviously, it is a little expensive, but nothing compared to what I'm used to. So I am happy about that. We've arrived, and we've got a lot of time to just relax and take our time. So... We made it. Nerdy and I decided to take a cab to our hotel. Our driver, Derek, was fantastic, and he gave us so many ideas of what to do while we're in Dublin. We did decide to take him up on one of his ideas, though, and take a day trip out of the town. We'll see that in an upcoming vlog. Horses are uh, three fucking turbo props. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a fine stadium. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not a good tour you can do as well. You can walk around the top of it. It's pretty historic. Snacking at the airport is one thing, but Nerdy and I needed an actual breakfast. Luckily, there was a place attached to the hotel called the Copper Alley Bistro. Nerdy couldn't help herself but to order the French toast since it had some homemade blueberry compote. I went with the Irish traditional breakfast, and those hash browns were amazing. Everything on this plate, even the pudding, was fantastic. The food and the surroundings were absolutely beautiful and quaint. We definitely will be eating here again. Hello. We are checked in. We have had a wonderful breakfast and Nerdy is taking a quick little cat nap. So I'm gonna explore just a little bit of the town in the area. We quickly filled up. Today we're gonna to be doing a Guinness tour. And then we're gonna be having some famous fish and chips. And then who knows what else. A lot's going on, and our docket has filled up quite quickly on this leg of our journey. still walking throughout Dublin. Mainly we're just in the touristy area right now, Temple Bar. Thankfully there are some awesome recommendations we've had from Derek, our taxi driver, and uh, some other Star Citizen friends as well. So we're going to be checking things out. We won't be able to get everything in unfortunately, but the beauty of Dublin is it's awesome. And everyone here has just been absolutely splendid. Getting close to the time that I gotta go wake Nerdy up from her cat nap, so see you guys soon. Nerdy's up from her cat nap, and we are on our way to the Guinness self-guided tour. Doing a little bit of a hike, but it is just the most gorgeous day. A little chill in the air, but not too cold. Oh 
Holy cow, there is a lot to do in this Guinness Storehouse tour. More than I would have imagined between the experiences and all the cool little exhibits. It was chock filled with stuff, so I'm going to try to keep it simple as best as possible. First off, this is supposedly the actual deed that was signed that gives them the rights to this property for 9,000 years. I know, crazy, right? There was a neat little replication of a barley field which led us into this awesome water show that they had because as we found out, Guinness is 95% water. That is the one thing I will never forget after doing this freaking tour. <laughs> the tour continues along the way, showing us where all the ingredients come from, what they are, and how they're put together to make this delicious beverage. There were floors and floors chock filled with Guinness's history of actual antiques, like these little train cars that they use to move things around. And then we eventually made our way to a free tasting experience. This was a very cool room where they explained all the different flavor profiles and there were even these little sinks that were filled with the aromas that you could smell for yourself. Of course, we each did get our own little sample of Guinness. And in the next room, they taught us how to properly enjoy the drink. Get the most out of your sample. You're going to hold on and eat your nose. Take a big deep breath through your nose see if you recognize any of them aromas. You're going to take a very generous mouthful because if you sip it, you're only going to get that nitrogen head. Ready? One, two, three. Cilantro! For a small additional fee, I was able to take a master class in how to pour Guinness. How could I pass up the opportunity? This is the creme de la creme of the Guinness Tour, the Gravity Bar. It's a 365 degree double bar with the most spectacular views of Dublin. Look how beautiful this is. It also doesn't hurt that we had one of the most beautiful days as I had previously mentioned. <laughs> Here's Nerdy and I enjoying our complimentary Guinness that you get for doing the tour. We have done the Guinness tour. We have learned how to pour Guinness. We have drank Guinness. <laughs> we have seen some beautiful, beautiful sights as along with some beautiful horses. I'm not gonna lie, the tiredness is uh, creeping up on me, but we're gonna go off and have some fish and chips. I'm hungry, Nerdy's hungry, right Nerdy? Yeah. Yeah, and being outside in the cool air 
even though it's not cold, it's cool. Rejuvenating. It is rejuvenating. You, you hit the nail on the head there, nerdy. Rejuvenating. <laughs> that has helped. Sitting down, I kind of was dozing off there for a moment. Whew, okay. two pints and plus. All right, we'll blame it on the Guinness. It's all Guinness's fault. It was a lot of fun. Met some really cool people. Met some people from back home, just randomly. Like super close, like they live like 15 minutes from us. That's crazy. Woo. With destination fish and chips in mind, we happen upon an old relic of Dublin, the old city wall. It was pretty cool seeing such history just out and about. That's we have cup. made it to the fish and chips. So. It's very good. <laughs> that favorite. The smoked cup? Yeah. Oh. So the first cup's white fish, flat. There's nothing in it. Uh, the smoked cup is curd itself, so it'll be a lot stronger taste out of it. What did we get? We got the smoked cup? We got traditional. Oh. You, you got fresh. You, you oh. can change up if you want. If you want to get one of each. You want to get one of each? Up to you. What if it's... One fresh, one yes. smoked. Thank okay. you very much. I'm still just waiting on fresh juice, so... All right, no one warned Nerdy and I just how freaking big these fish and chips were. That is ginormous, but it was also so good. Apparently, the fish is caught daily and brought in fresh, and it tasted like it. It was so good. Sleep caught up with us something fierce, so we took a little nap. It's a little late, but we're off to the cobblestone. Our taxi just arrived, so we'll see you soon. We have taken a quick Uber ride, and we are now arrived to the cobblestone. We have closed the bar down. <laughs> Thank you. The music was wonderful. The people were amazing. The drinks were delicious. I cannot recommend the cobblestone enough. Fantastic. I think that's my chance. Potentially. What a full day. We. Outside of some napping, we have been up for a very long time, but we got a lot done today. We did so much. When we were talking with some people that we had met, and we were telling them what we were doing, and we had come in only just this morning, they thought we were crazy. <laughs> oh, so we got some stuff on the docket for tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be a big day. Of course, all of this is coming out later and edited, so hopefully you enjoy it. But Wednesday is going to be a good one. Hopefully this recorded some of the music well enough that you could at least enjoy it, so. And, uh, with that adventure is day one. Day two, day one in two? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Technically day one, let's say, is in the bag. And I will see you in the next one. Adventurers, Bye bye